What's going on everyone? This is Sid Chandra from the Chandra Real Estate Group, your resource for helpful tips, tricks, and trends in the real estate market. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the elections. As we all know, the liberals have won and they're gonna be imposing a few changes in the housing market. Now, before you say anything about the liberals, whether you agree or not agree with them, they have won the elections and they will be making changes in the housing market. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about. Before I get into details, I do want to mention that if you're thinking about making a move or investing in real estate, I did make a video on the best areas to invest in the GTA. If you are interested, do click on this link above and check it out. So the liberals are going to impose the changes in three main points. The first is to unlock home ownership. The second is to protect your rights. And the third is to build more homes. And I'll get into details of each point in later on in this video. Speaking about the first point, unlocking home ownership, the government's going to implement rent to own programs and tax free home savings account, which means they're going to give us tax incentives to have a savings account. Unlike a regular tax free savings account, it's almost like your RRSP accounts. And we can talk about that in more detail if you are interested. Essentially, the government is committing to $1 billion in loans and grants by scaling up the rent to own programs and partnering up with private, nonprofit, and co op partners. They will be making the first time home buyers' incentive more flexible and double the home buyers' tax credits. They are committing to reduce the cost of mortgage insurance and together folks, these measures will save first time buyers up to $30,000 in their first time home buying process. I know what you're thinking folks, I'm going to hold off on purchasing a home until these rules are implemented because I'll save thousands of dollars. You're right. However, don't make that mistake folks because the market is moving faster than we can keep up with. And if you wait, who knows how long Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are going to take to implement these changes. In the meantime, if the market moves upwards of $100,000 in price and now you're saving just $30,000 on your purchase, you're still paying more than you would have by purchasing now. So if you are capable of making a move at this point in time, I do encourage you to first consult with a professional and look at the entire picture before you completely turn down the idea of buying your first house. The second is to build more homes. They want to give the city more tools to build more homes and convert empty office spaces to more housing. They will encourage different generations of families to live together. What that means is they'll offer tax credits of amounts up to $50,000 to people that add in-law suites or accessory units into their homes. These tax credits will amount to anywhere between seven to $7,500 dollars support indigenous people so they will partner with indigenous partners to build more homes in rural and urban areas what does all of this mean folks by building more homes will hopefully reduce the demand in the housing market right wrong because we're already in a shortage of homes in the current market so by increasing the demand by low interest rates and adding more first time buyers to the mix and increasing the supply, we're still going to be in the same point, but we'll just have more options to look at in the housing market. Now they're talking about building anywhere up to 1.4 million homes by building, repairing or preserving homes on the market. Home buyers bill of rights will implement banning blind bidding. What that means is creating more transparency in a multiple offer situation. So if there is a property that gets multiple offers, now the sellers will have to disclose what the content of the offer is, the price, the conditions and everything. So every buyer has the choice to either increase their offer or walk away from the transaction rather than just gambling with their money in the current market. Next, they want to crack down on house flipping by implementing an anti house flipping tax, which will require investors or house flippers to own the property for at least 12 months before they sell it to prevent paying that tax. This one's interesting. Will it really stop house flippers from flipping homes? Hmm. 
Next, they want to temporarily ban foreign buyers from buying Canadian housing. Now, this one's interesting because it won't affect the resale market as much as it will affect the pre-construction market. And the reason I say that is because most investors from overseas tend to invest in pre-construction homes. Uh, so when we take them out of the equation, now those investors that wanted to invest will still be investing in resale homes, which will increase the demand of resale housing anyways. Next, they will monitor financial institutions that buy excessive properties and make large profits by capping their investments and their profits. They will also strengthen the federal oversight on the housing market to prevent money laundering. So there you have it folks. These are all the changes that the Liberals plan on implementing in the near future. If you ask me for my opinion, I don't think the housing market is going to slow down drastically based on these changes for various reasons. So if we really break this down, I think the main factors that will affect the market are building more homes, releasing the stress test and being able to offer more tax credits to first time buyers and preventing foreign buyers from buying homes. Now, if we look at the foreign buyers in general, they are a very small percentage of the buyers in today's market. When we look at the first time buyers, by the time they enter the market and these rules are changed, the property prices would have already gone very high up. And when we add more demand into the mix and don't have enough supply to keep up with it, it's only going to drive the prices higher. I think unless the government builds those new homes at a much faster pace and in bulk, it's going to be very difficult to slow down the prices and the market in general. Hope you found this video helpful folks. And if you did, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel, especially if you have something to share about these changes. And if you are an agent, whether you're brand new or seasoned, please reach out as we are expanding our business and looking to partner with ambitious realtors. Until next time folks, cheers.